Hey, what's going on, Beowulf Nation? It's on Beowulf back at it with another video. Whew, this is gonna be an installing video. People like the, my subscribers really like it when I do these install videos. So we can guess what it is. Is this kind of like spoiling it already? We got the I am Beowulf merch on. You can already see the GP 1800R peeking from the behind me. So this is my 2019. Beowulf Edition uh, Yamaha GP 1800R. Yeah, there's some cool stuff happening. All right. Uh, so if you haven't seen the past video with my SXR 1500, I installed a ceramic coating on it. So I showed a how-to video. So now we're doing this as technically a GP 1800R or a uh, sit down. I actually uh, have a subscriber that will be letting me use his RXTX. Uh, to do an install video on that so we get to please the Kawasaki people the Yamaha and the Seaview So all three brands everybody's happy. All right So um, if you're new to the channel hit the subscribe button existing subscribers hit the bell notification get notified as soon as the video is uploaded So just one little short things to tell I have free monthly giveaways It's totally free to enter you have to be subscribed to I am Beowulf and my second YouTube channel Beowulf Nation you have to be subscribed to both and you have to either follow me on Instagram, I am underscore Beowulf. If you decide you don't want to use Insta, then it has to be Facebook. You got to follow me on I am Beowulf Facebook page. You have to do those three things to be entered. If you don't, you're not entered. It's totally free to enter too. So I'm giving away free Jet Tribe Life Vest once a month, picking a subscriber with that. So best of luck with it. So I'd like to get back. So if you haven't seen the last videos, or the last video I did on this, it was pretty cool. So this is hydrosilic, really nice stuff. They approached me about shooting some videos and trying out the products. So I'm like, hey, yeah, let's do it. So they have a promo code. If you do all caps Beowulf, you get 40% off your order. It's for a short period of time though. So check that out, hydrosilic.com, promo code, all caps Beowulf. But the cool thing, this is on my Amazon store, amazon.com slash shop slash I'm Beowulf. We got cool stuff like this. We got the LED light, this magnetic that's on there. This seems like a selling pitch. We got the cool DeWalt rolling chair, which is going to be awesome with doing this and install with doing this. So that's amazon.com slash shop slash I'm Beowulf. Also to check out the I am Beowulf merch at I am Beowulf.com. So let's get going with the video. So it's really cool. So they sent me the uh, microfiber towels. They have a step-by-step -step of how you do this. If you didn't see the, the video when I did it, I'm showing it, but with a different ski. So the first step is, this is their called the Hydrosilic Rewind, which this wax and grease removers, remove ceramic coating, remove the wax, remove everything. This is like the pre-prep doing it. The ski was already washed and dried after using it the last. So we're gonna do this, use one towel with doing that whole process, process, which I'll show you guys. And then we move into um, the hydrosilic ceramic coating. It's the marine edition, right? So if you've seen when I did the video with the SXR 1500, I didn't use a lot. We got still got a big old bottle, got still a lot left, look at this. Still, we got tons of times. So I did a little research too. So this lasts for six months. You can use this on a lot of stuff. So I'm just gonna read some stuff. This is just pre-stuff. You wanna be wearing gloves when you do this. But there's a warning label. It says, warning, can cause serious eye irritation, wear protective clothing, gloves, harmful if swallowed in case of contact with eyes, remove contact lens, flush eyes immediately and with water for 15 minutes. If swallowed, seek immediate medical attention. Do not store, this is real important, do not store below 32 Fahrenheit or above 90 degrees. So people that don't go off of Fahrenheit, you have to do their conversion to figure this out. So the uh, protection with this contaminants, UV rays, oxidation, property self cleaning effect. So the applications you can use this on, hydrosilk recharge can be applied to bare metal, stainless steel, aluminum, Glass, plastic, fiberglass, stone, marble, tiles, and more. I'll have to try this. I got all stainless steel appliances. Maybe that'll be a whole nother video I've been talking about. Because that board with content, but I think people find that kind of interesting doing that. Actually, there's tons of stuff we could be playing around. We could be ceramic coating, 
in my, I guess, I'm pretty cool. This one, I got a big tool thing in my other garage. I'm gonna be too, sir. I know I'm gonna be doing video ceramic coating the trailers because I got aluminum Triton trailers. I'm selling a couple of my trailers, so. But uh, I'll figure out which ones I'm keeping and I'll be doing videos ceramic coating it. Little thing, this is real griefing material, so I'm not gonna do the coating on there. But the stuff that's like the carbon fiber, we're gonna apply it on there and see how that does protect it. And on, I have a fair amount of stuff that's hydro dipped, that was black. The carbon fiber, um, we've got the snake skin there. I'm actually going to be redoing all this over the winter into um, black carbon fiber, all the snake skin. It's getting ready. It's a common video. You guys think I should get rid of the snake skin or should I keep it? I like to do it all carbon fiber. I'm going to do all this carbon fiber. Possibly, I think I'm going to avoid the mirrors because I think it's going to be really hard for them to do that because I'm not sure if these pop out. And I don't want to break anything. But we got the carbon fiber here, so it's like kind of, yeah, I think it's time to be doing that. So uh, let's get going with doing with this and start prepping, getting this thing all ready to ceramic coat it. I already sprayed the, on one side that to take the grease off. And I waxed. I'm not sure when the last time I waxed this thing. I think I waxed it. I don't know. Maybe when I took the gap back from the trip from going to the Midwest. I think most of that smells like that. It smells good. I think it could, it did say too, you can put it on glass. I'm not sure. I'm curious to try that out on something. Maybe in the car windshield. So we got some of these. I hope that's just a bug. It's a great scratch. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I like this. Yeah, I personally, my opinion, I think this one looks better than the 2021s, but that's just me. I think, and especially if you haven't seen the video with the gauge cluster, which I don't know when they're going to be uploading comparison, but there's this cool gauge cluster that goes in there. I'm going to have a boost gauge and another gauge, and I'll just drop that off today to get hydro dipped, which I'm super excited about. So you want to make sure you get this where it's not wet. You want to make sure it's all up before you put um, the next step on with the ceramic coating. But in the ceramic coating, you don't want to make sure you spray it exactly where you're going to be applying it. And like it said in the instructions, in a very really small area. Um, so some of the areas where I'm not going to ceramic coat is just in like these narrow areas. It's just going to be. I'll wipe it there, but it's going to be really hard to get it all into those really tight areas. I just don't think it's... Because you don't want to get on this where the foot mat is, because that's really, you know, really rough. I don't think you need to be doing that, Cody. On that. Do this part standing up, but then the part lower part of the ski, that's when I'll get in my nice cart. Let me spray a little bit more there. Make sure. Get that up. You want to make sure too when you have the gloves on, don't touch your face or anything with it. And once you put it on, gloves, you're not going to be touching your skin. This could have been a rock chip. Too. I might just actually, to be honest, leave the hood up when doing this. 
because it just gets it what's easier with doing it. We'll get into some of these areas. We'll get placing it even up in this area. Let's make sure we got everything all white. Because when you're spraying it, it's not getting into these really tight, tight areas. Yeah, the crazy thing is that people have bought the 2021s and less than seven months, they will be announcing the um, 2022s. It's kind of crazy when you think about it. When you're buying the jet skis, it's just literally you'll buy one and not in a short period of time, it'll be already almost old news. So it's one of those things when you're buying jet skis. I like to at least have a ski for a couple of years. I don't like to buy a new ski every year, every other year. I like to get, get a couple seasons out of it. This one has actually not that many hours. I think what, like 47, 46 hours? Had the ski for over over a year and a half too, which is pretty crazy when you think about it. Uh, I ride it a lot. I don't have a lot of hours, which is actually, I think is a good thing. But I don't usually when I ride, I'm going really long, like about maybe less than an hour, which is still crazy when you think about it. The hour mark, how it works. I just avoid when I ride this, no weight zones and anything that where it douses down your, your time traveled, which does make a huge difference on the hours your machine will be getting to each their own. I know a lot of people put hundreds of hours on, a couple hundred at least or more a year which the ski could obviously take tons of hours but i just like to keep it low and and still go out and enjoy it but kind of ride it hard and have fun with it so just cruising around i like to kind of put it through the paces it's like if you bought a race car you wouldn't buy it to just cruise around you buy it to use it hmm, same thing that's how I think of it. God, I really like how this ski looks. It's turned. It's crazy what the thing looked like from when I bought it to what it's became now. It's just, I don't know if I could actually end up selling it if it came to it. Somebody offered me a lot of money. I don't know if I could part with it. I just really like how it looks. And some new stuff coming appearance wise is even make it even. Uh, cooler. You know, I might say there's no registration on it, and I don't put registration on. Uh, I just don't like the numbers, and I, I've never been bothered about it, so I just don't put it on. I think that when you put numbers on a ski, I know if they're so big, they just it's like if you imagine to put your license plate numbers on the side of your vehicle car, kind of like really suck. The numbers they require are bigger than if you were putting on a vehicle, car, or a truck. Which is still kind of hard to believe how crazy that is, but this makes it nice having it up like this. Got really good lighting in here too. Really good lighting. All right, so we did the lower part. And then let's do the bottom part. First time using this chair. Uh, this makes life really easy. So I'm going to spray this. And I don't know how far I'm going to go underneath. It's the same thing like I did with the stand up. I mean, I'm going to be totally crazy and go way down low. But it just matters how much time, you know, you got the bunks. So that's the big crucial thing when doing this. It's just, you have the bunks and there's only so much room you can get underneath. Oh yeah, you gotta, the hard thing with the bottom of the water line, the water here is kind of kind of murky and stuff. This stuff gets really dirty. That was another reason, I had to shoot a whole video talking why I canceled my order on the super jet, but that's what I'm afraid of is just white jet skis with the bottom of the water line. Stuff gets pretty dirty when it's, uh, like a darker color that you can tell with the graphics. Just imagine what it'd be like with all white jet ski. 
The one thing too, when you get to the ceramic coating, you want to make sure you wipe everything up. You can't let it air dry off. You have to fully wipe it down. Hard thing with these grooves in the floor. Not fully smooth. Here we go. I don't know. Yeah, I probably only do the areas that I'm able to reach to. Now I'm gonna go kind of more of the visible stuff you would see with the ski. All right, so now we're doing this side. Like I said, I'm only going to be doing areas that I can reach too easily. Nothing too crazy. <clears throat> I mean, I got a thing I can lay on the ground. A little creeper thing and creep around on the bottom. Another thing I noticed here too. This is coming a little loose. It looks like it's double-sided tape. I got some extra ones. I can easily fix that. Before it gets a loose more. Um, it's only in one spot, but the wind is just gonna push it more and more. So I got some stuff that I can add. Not today, but another video I'll probably figure that all out. You don't want to use like glue because in case you gotta remove the piece, it's not glued onto the paint. It's crazy how, look how much we're removing out of this thing too. And I said when I washed this last, I used a rag drying it and it's still crazy. And these graphics are so killer. Jet Life of Miami, awesome. Really do really good graphics. I personally think they're the best in the industry. And they're on Instagram, Jet Life Miami. Give a little shout out. Leave a comment. What do you guys think? Should we keep the snakeskin? I think it looks cool. This yellow is a little different than the rest of the yellow of the ski. Yeah, it's crazy how cold. I think it's like like 40 something degrees outside right now. We've got this like little cold spell coming through and it's gonna warm up. Alright, so we got all that done. That's my stack of rags that Detailing and they'll be washed. All right, all gloved up. Grab this. So you want to do a new cloth each time doing it. So we'll start on the hood. What first do is I'm trying to get this where we can see a lot. Well, the lighting is not look good here. Stand back because you see the particles coming out. This is exactly what I said to wear eye protection. It's again, too, when you do this, don't have a fan going. You don't want to put eye protection in. And there's a good approach. And you want to make sure you get everywhere on this so you don't have any left over. Got 
So I plan on doing. So I plan on doing uh, two coats with it. You can do one, you do two. I'm gonna just do two. It's not, that's it. This was a boat, like a big boat. I wouldn't do two, I'd just do one. But the process is the same. No matter what, you know, get all in there. And plant, they can do it on the glass, so. We'll rub a little bit on there. You know, let's see what happens. Another one of the... All right, so now we'll do as... It is such a, and this is who did the um, the graphics on this too. I'll give them a shout out. Is uh, Outlaw Hydrographics in Merle Zintland, South Carolina. They're on my Instagram. I follow them. Uh, check them out. Or you can um, check do a Google search Outlaw uh, Hydrographics. And I was just up by there today. They said actually said a bunch of subscribers have gone. It's mailed out because you can mail stuff to them. You don't have to be in the area. I said a lot of subscribers have mailed them stuff to get jet ski stuff done. So I think that's really cool. And uh, glad it, to get them known of an industry that does it. And they do a bunch of different um, stuff with hydro. Check out their website. They do car parts, jet ski, motorcycle, pew pews. Um, you name it, you can get it done. Cups. They said they were doing a bunch of helmets. That'd be kind of cool to see what a, a helmet would be done like that. Probably be a lot cheaper too if you wanted a carbon fiber helmet and getting one that's real, sometimes real carbon fiber helmets. I had a real carbon fiber helmet and uh, it was like super bell one. It was super expensive. It was not cheap at all. I think I had one that's all carbon fiber and then I painted it. That's what I recall. Yeah, so you want to get into these kind of little areas. And it's safe on the graphics, which is cool. This, I'm only going to use the towel because it's wet. Into those areas, I'm not going to spray. Take it back if I have the spray. Because we're going to be applying it. I just picked up this killer aquarium uh, from my Lichianus gecko, largest breed gecko. It's a little baby, just a couple months old. And uh, it was born in June. So yeah, it's not that old. And it lives for tw almost 20 to 30 years. That's just crazy. Think of 30 years from now, having the same gecko. It gets really big. And any of my subscribers from Australia, would know because it comes from your area on the east coast on some islands and uh it's pretty cool owning something pretty rare like that and uh, you know what tells i'm gonna do videos talking about that lizard that uh, gecko uh, really cool let's yeah, so get a little wipe down in here protect this stuff get it you know make sure too is you want to get into these like super tight areas Right in there because some moisture from that sitting there. And then the hard thing is, you got all these areas, it's not it's a lot easier, I think, doing one on a brighter color ski. Doing it before and there, it's, it's primary, it's lighter black, so you're not seeing much of it applied in. And then I'll we'll spray a little on the seat, we'll see how that all works out. There. So these are like vinyl seats. 
Jet Charm already really makes some really nice stuff, so it's not really going to... I've had a lot of their seats I've installed. This stuff really holds up. But anything to help protect the colors, especially the stitching on this, um, I'm up to trying. They did a killer job on the seat. Jet Charm, you have a jet ski. You want the best seat out there. There's just literally... No offense to any of other brands out there. You guys just can't. You guys can't hold your own to Jet Trim. They're in their whole nother league. The other companies are just trying to pay catch up. Yeah, looks good. All right, so we're gonna move to the to the other side. He is just looking good. Looking good, looking good, looking good. The good thing stuff with this too is it's not really fuming or anything, so it's not like you have the um, ventilation going on, like a garage opener or something, which it wouldn't hurt, but it's not like it's required. It makes you get kind of warm, kind of debating about opening the garage and then getting really cold. Get really cold really fast. <laughs> but it's better to be a little warmer in here with applying this. My opinion. Yeah. As I'll tell you though, the blue, one of Yamaha's best colors is the blue. When I when I think of Yamaha, I think of blue. I did not like them with the black and the green. I thought the green, it just looked kind of Kawasaki, but it looked, I don't know, kind of cheap looking, to be honest. I mean, I, I'm honest about all the brands, but I felt a little, a little cheap to me. And some of the photos I've seen in the new ones, not knock anybody buying those. I just, the more and more photos I've seen of them new, 2021s, I just it wasn't fond of the colors. I think the design of the ski is nice. I just think we got a bare paint, like painted area that's like literally almost like all this. And there's not, there's a lot going on here that makes it look cool. And the new ones just didn't seem like it was having that going on. It just, I don't know. I think there's some stuff they could have done it really improve it. And well, maybe sometimes some of those people running the show, they're just. I dropped that, so if I made a mistake like that, we can't reuse it. Gotta go grab another one. Just for you guys to know, once it touches the ground, once it touches the ground, it's no good. It's like it's like thinking it's good to use. You just wash, you wash the towel. It's fine, but think of uh, I like it's food on the ground. It touches the ground. Don't even use your glass grabbing it either, just because. You get stuff on your hands that could scratch the paint. I removed this big stick. I think there was once a big sticker back here. Remove that. It looks a lot better. I was planning on doing a video too and selling a bilge pump on this thing. It has a siphon pump with siphons out. There's water in there while you're riding it, but not as a bilge pump. But Yamahas aren't known to sink, so I mean, I don't know, but I guess it's better to have it than not have it. It's the only thing that sucks is when you install a bilge pump, you gotta drill a hole. And I'm just not into drilling holes where you can't go back once you drill them. You gotta find a good, really good flat area, which that would be a good exit line for a bilge pump, but I got a whole set of putting on Kawasaki and I haven't done it. And we'll just, I'm not sure where I really want to drill. It's like once you drill it, man, there's just, especially in that hole, man, there's just no going back. 
So I'm not a big fan of those through haul exhausts and all that. You, anything under the water line, I just I don't think it's intelligent to. Who cares what it sounds like? Put it, take out the mufflers on your car. I just think on a jet ski, it's you're in the water, stuff can sink. If you're racing it, totally, but if you're not racing it, I just think you want it to sound cool. Like, what if you don't like how loud it is? You can't put it back. But to each their own. All right, so there we go. Got that whole upper area done. It's looking killer. And it really does help the, um, I think the plastics look really good there too. It'll look different once I, uh, I like to see how that new piece turns out. And then, cause it basically you're doing like this section, that section, this. So it's not a lot of pieces and you just, it's not that hard to remove all this. I like to keep all this stuff white, these sections. All right, let me do a bigger section in here. Right here, right here, 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 here. I see I got my trusty chair. Get a good one on to wipe on the knees. Lower. So I might not use the chair because I'm moving that fast. Now, I probably won't do another coat on the bottom. I'll probably just run it with another towel, make sure it's all dried up. Because basically, I'll probably do another coating of these. This, even though it lasts six months, I'll probably do another one in uh, getting the, like once it gets a little warmer this season, which is not that far away, to be honest. Just a couple of months. All right, so we got that side. We're moving to the other side now. Right here, right here, there, 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 there. Yeah, you can tell it shines pretty good. You notice the next day that this thing, Kawasaki SXR really shine really good. So we did that side, throw that into the pile of towels that we washed. What have we got left? Yep, enough to do this. So, again, we're gonna do, we don't wanna get any on that mat. We do a little bit bigger sections so and move a little bit faster. down the seat. 
carbon fiber handlebar go back right here and then we're probably going to do the last one where I said I'm going to wipe it with the dry one at the bottom we'll do the same thing up top let's just go one more time so we're going to make this a little bit more of a process but that it's the GP 1800R AWOLF edition it's better to make sure she is fully prepped and protected for the next round. Actually, I think I might. I think it, people have been really asking about going me going to the ocean with this. That's why I was really. I, 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 sure I put the time in. Filmed like it's my third YouTube video I've done today. It's actually it's almost like eleven o'clock at night. So I'm actually really beat. I almost wasn't gonna do. It. I was like, I just want to relax. And I'm like, nope, Beowulf, get back to work. You know. Yeah, I'm, it's gonna be a little bit chillier, but I think in the morning, I'm gonna throw on that wetsuit, the Jet Tribe wetsuit, and go take this in the ocean. And I'm curious to see how it'll hold up. We're just being done. Going in the ocean. Oh, it looks so sharp. It just looks like, it looks, you can tell this really is it from, is really making the ski look a lot better and I'm one of those people man I like to promote stuff I like if I don't like something I'm honest about it and I'd rather be an honest person than just somebody just saying whatever make people happy I like this product good stuff hydrosilic hydrosilic that kind of like I said before you want to stand back a little bit Not those particles drop down don't want to get in eyes. Yeah, that's another reason not popping up in the garage. Get a little wind in here. And shut down again. Push. Like bolt it. Hey, it's unbelievable that trim coming loose there. You almost wouldn't even notice it. I'm actually shocked I haven't even noticed it. It just looks like it's double sided tape. Holding that down. We got really good in here. Oh, you can just feel it. It feels, like, it feels like butter right now. Feels like butter. nice to see how it works with so many different colors we basically have been playing with it. bright colors dark colors light colors and just a bunch of different colors that you really see how this product handles up to with applying it and the stuff's really easy like I said in last video with it See people post. I don't know how to paint somebody to do this. And it's really, it's kind of silly that somebody would do that. Because it's so easy to do yourself. I like doing stuff. I, I like doing stuff myself. There's a time to pay people to do stuff. There's a time not to. This, I don't really think it's something you gotta pay somebody. Do, right? And that's my opinion. The craziest thing, we're already done with the bottle with applying the ceramic coating. So it's actually really nice is when you buy the bottle from them, you actually have a lot. I've used a lot more with the process of doing this ski just because, like I said in the video when I applied it on um, Kawasaki SXR, is the SXR is so much smaller. I mean, it was really not that hard to do at all. This got a lot of nooks and crannies, so. Oh, this turned out really nice to apply. 
<laughs> yeah, but would you guys just to see the bottles? Probably can you see it? I mean, it's still, you can still see the top of the line. It's really not a lot. Which is nice. I guarantee, I don't know how much you would use if you had a boat. But, um, Looks out really good. Really good on the graphics. I just really like this ski a lot. I mean, this is a, people ask me all the time, what's your favorite? I kind of just like this ski a lot. I've never had, I only had one issue and it wasn't because of Yamaha. It was a old clamp for the blow fill of Riva Racing. I'm doing that and to fix the problem, I just put a stainless steel T bolt clamp in there and that issue is gone. This area. Yeah, it's looking, looking good, looking good. All right. Definitely improves this ski big time. Put that all in the pile. Now we're doing the last little process. Real easy to do. The last towel that they sent me. Here we go. Let's not drop. Let's not drop it. <laughs> All right. So we're just going right back again in a rubbing motion, making sure everything is off. It's not wet anywhere. Use that area because right underneath there, once you put the, uh, the hood down, you won't be able to reach. And going down the side. Areas. It's a lot of fun. A lot of fun. Like I said in the last video when I did this, on the other ski, God just has some patience. This isn't going to be a couple of minutes and it's gone. So make sure you got a lot of time set aside doing a project like this because it's, it's going to take a little bit of your. I'm a fast to do it. It's not a race to say who did it done the first, the quickest. It's just to make sure it's done correctly. 
Get a also to give a shout out Versa Plugs PWC Doctor Best Plugs in the Game Best Plugs in the Game Really good at the bottom. Really good. Really happy. is knocked out. Again, we gotta get this long part there. Drop that down. Oh yeah, this thing is looking. I don't know if you guys can tell a difference in the video, but I can tell a difference. Got super bright LEDs in here. There we go. Easy as that. All done. We just put the products out. So this is hydrosilic. This is the marine one. This is ceramic coating first use this like you see in the video check them out 40 percent off the order hydrosilic.com use promo code all caps baywolf also to check out my amazon store amazon.com slash shop slash i am baywolf big special thanks to hydrosilic sending out the product to do the videos with uh, check out the i am baywolf merch at iambaywolf.com hope you guys enjoy the video step by step how to Ceramic coat, coating, ceramic coating your jet ski. And I did one with the stand up. Now we did a sit down Yamaha GP 1800R. I'm soon to be doing a CDU RXTX one. So we got kind of a little different ones on the RXTX. I'll be doing it's the black, red, and gold, which will be interesting seeing how different that will be too. So it's going to be more different colors. We're going to have some reds. Uh, and gold. So if you're new to the channel, remember the free giveaway. Be subscribed to I am Beowulf and Beowulf Nation, both channels. Either follow me on Instagram, I am underscore Beowulf. If you don't do the Insta, that has to be Facebook. Uh, my Facebook page, I am Beowulf. Free Jet Tribe uh, giveaway, Jet Tribe Life Fest. So best of luck with that. Be driven to win. Remember every day is Earth Day. Be safe out there. Peace out. Beowulf Nation.